Tinkercad Tips. Today I wanted to show you a quick way to do some object rotation here. And what I have here in my Tinkercad workspace is a simple box with a hinge that I made on it. If I make this transparent, you can see inside the box. And what I want to do is to open up the lid of this so that if I were to print this, that the lid would be standing up on edge or flipped over the other way. Now, Normally speaking, if we select on an object and use this handle here, our rotation is going to happen, but it always happens along the center line of that object. That's not what we want in this case. So let me show you a quick way of dealing with rotation using these hinges as that pivot point. So we're going to start by taking a whole cylinder here. And I happen to know that the diameter of this hole here is 2 millimeters. So let's shift, click on this corner here. We're going to make it 2 millimeters. Zoom in here. I'm going to stretch it up a bit. I'm going to come to the side. Holding the shift key, I'm going to rotate that so it's horizontal. We're going to move it up a bit. I'm going to make sure that my snap grid here is set to off. And what I want to do is line up this cylinder with the hole in that hinge. So let's bring it down a bit. We're going to shift nudge over a bit. Down again. Let's go ahead and we'll move this object over. Okay, we can see it a little better now. Come in here, continue doing my cursor movement until that's centered up within that hole. Let's go down a bit. There we go. That's pretty good. So now that whole object is lined up with the center of those hinge pieces there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set my snap grid back to one millimeter and I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to nudge that over to the side here. Now what I want to do is zoom in here and I want to hold down Alt and Shift. And I'm going to grab one of these sizing handles and I'm going to begin making that cylinder larger. Now as I do so, I can continue to flatten this out so that it's just a big disc. Let's bring this back in the center, holding Alt and Shift again. I'm going to keep making that larger until that object is larger than that lid, that the lid fits within the confines of this cylinder here. All right, now that we have that, I'll zoom out a bit. I can go ahead and thin that up again. While that's selected, I'm going to hold the shift key and select on this lid as well. Zoom out a little bit more. Now you'll notice that if I select that rotation handle, it's rotating that whole cylinder as well as rotating the box lid along with it on that hinge point. Holding the shift key, I could set it to 90, 45, or straight up. So, just by making a cylinder that lines up with the center of your pivot point and then making it larger than the, point, uh, the part that you're wanting to rotate, we can simply rotate that part and still have that lined up correctly. There's your Tinkercad tip for the day. As always, like, follow, and share. If you have comments or questions, you know where to drop them down there in the comments. And I'll see you on the next one.